Hello and welcome to Never Leave an SAP HANA Database Unprotected Again. Today's webinar is sponsored by Rubrik and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Scott Becker. I'm from Actual Tech Media and I'm excited to be your moderator for this special event. Now, before we get to today's great content, we do have a few housekeeping items that will help you get the most out of the session. We do want this to be an informative event for you, so we encourage any questions in the questions box in our webinar control panel. While we won't be able to do a live Q&A session at the end today, we will pass along all of your questions to the rubric team so they can get back to you. The Q&A panel is also the place to let us know about any technical issues that you might be experiencing. A browser refresh will fix most audio, video, or slide advancement issues, but if that doesn't work, just let us know in the Q&A, and we'll provide further technical assistance. Now next, in the handout section of your webinar control panel, you'll find that we're offering several resources. I'd especially like to call your attention to PDFs for the Rubrik Security Cloud and for Cloud Native Protection. Also in there, you'll find a link to the Gorilla Guide Book Club, where you can get access to actual tech media's great printed resources on technology topics, as well as a link to the ATM Events Center, which has our calendar of upcoming events. So I encourage you to access those resources now and share them with your friends and colleagues. Now, at the end of this webinar event, we will be awarding a $250 Amazon gift card to one lucky registrant. Of course, you must be in attendance during the live event to qualify for that prize. Official terms and conditions of today's prize drawing can be found in the handout section. Scroll to the bottom and you'll find the prize terms and conditions link there. And with that, let's get to today's fantastic content. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our presenters today. We have Sean McElhenney, who's a database solutions architect at Rubrik, and Frank Schwach, who's field CTO for EMEA at Rubrik. So it's great to have you guys here. Uh, Sean, I'm going to turn things over to you to take it away. McElhenney, a database solutions architect here at Rubrik, and today I'll be speaking with you about SAP HANA protection and how you can ensure you never will leave your SAP HANA databases unprotected. Database teams have a number of questions about database protection and recovery. We'll discuss five of their major concerns, starting with how do I keep all my data secure and available? But before we dig into details, there's one concept that we really need to drive home. And that's the fact that SAP HANA has multiple components to protect. It consists of the HANA system and a series of databases. Typically, the system and the tenant database at a minimum. The system is going to ultimately communicate with the backend API to manage backup activities. And this is where Rubrik's going to start to enter the picture. Our protection starts by deploying the Rubrik appliance. And this can be done either within one of your data centers or at one of the three major cloud providers. Now, we can actually deploy the Rubrik backup service and ensure secure communications between our SAP HANA hosts and Rubrik. Note that all the communication initiated by Rubrik is secure. When Rubrik's going to send a backup request, the RBS will relay the request to HANA and leverage backend to write the backups to Rubrik over secure thread. If the database is large enough, Rubrik has multi-channel support too. Here's something else to note. Integrating with the backend API is nothing new to Rubrik. Our connector leverages the Rubrik Backup Service, <clears throat> which is a simple RPM package. It includes an SSL certificate to enable authenticated connections with the Rubrik cluster, supports SAP HANA v2 on either the x86-64 platforms or PowerPC. It has a single module that can support either on-prem deployments or your cloud deployments of SAP HANA. And it's our latest SAP HANA certified solution. Now we can start to consider two other things. How do I protect my entire SAP HANA environment? And how can I meet my backup window and have the backup accessible ASAP? This is a twofold question that is addressed by the power of Rubrik's SLA domains. 
First, you can create granular backup frequencies and create a backup window for them to execute it. Once the backup is complete, it's available in the SAP HANA backup catalog as a recovery. Next, the SLA domains you create can be assigned at the SAP HANA system level, ensuring that all the databases associated with that system will inherit that SLA. Now, another question was, how about accessing my backups? You know, it's funny you should ask. How you're going to access the backups is really going to be dependent on your role in the organization. Your backup admins can access the backups via the UI. And your basis admins are going to be able to access them via their standard tools, say HANA Studio in this example. Now, our last question really concerns centralized management of the solution. Let's go back to that initial graphic to try to explain this. We have a system in place. You might have several rubric clusters deployed. In order to manage that holistically, you need something to make it happen. Welcome to Rubric Security Cloud. It's going to provide you that single pane of glass to manage activities across your entire rubric deployment. You can use it to automate discovery and protection, define and update your SLAs, and leverage centralized reporting and monitoring of your entire deployment. The best part, your backups are still going to remain local to the clusters in either your data centers or your cloud environment. RSC is simply leveraging the metadata and only communicates to your rubric clusters over secure channels. Another item of note, rubric also supports the scale up and scale out systems for SAP HANA. It'll take care of you know, higher frequency log backups and SAP HANA log replication. If you've happened to be a user of previous generations of our SAP HANA solution, you'll really appreciate the fact that you, know, you no longer have to go and maintain bootstrap scripts or managed volumes in order to enable your SAP HANA protection. I've told you quite a bit about the Rubrik for SAP HANA offering, but customer feedback is always of immeasurable value. So I'm going to turn it over to Frank Schwab, who's one of our field CTOs in Europe, who had an opportunity to discuss our SAP HANA protection with Reed Beaver of Dawn Foods. I'll turn it over to Frank so we can hear what one of our valued customers actually has to say about the product. Thank you, Sean. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Frank Schwag. I'm a field CTO of Rubrik in the EMEA region. And today I'd like to introduce one of our customers. It's uh, Reed Beaver, who's a server engineer at Dawn Foods. Hey, Reed, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining. So everything today is about SAP HANA. And before we start, could you please Talk a little bit about your environment, your SAP HANA landscape, like database sizes, if you're using scale up or scale out technologies, number of databases, and so on. Sure. Um, we are uh, obviously a HANA customer. Um, SAP has, as you know, has mandated um, everybody move to HANA, uh, complete their move to HANA by 2025. So we are in the midst of um, moving and upgrading and doing all those fun things. Uh, currently, we have ECC and BW running in HANA. And the database sizes range from, you know, 700 gigs to 1.5. And I think we even have one that's uh, two terabytes. Um, we are scale up uh, using on-prem, you know, HANA certified appliances uh, at Dawn Foods. So. We've been on HANA for, I don't know, maybe the better part of four, four and a half years, mm -hmm. um, working through, you know, migrating from Microsoft SQL Server onto SAP HANA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. So yes, the, the deadline that SAP said to the year 2025, I think they, they rode back a couple of times, but yeah, there is still a lot of uncertainty about the future of the SAP HANA landscape about in, in regards to what database can run underneath. But um, you're not protecting just uh, SAP HANA with rubric. What other applications are you protecting? 
Well, we protect uh, just about everything with Rubrik at Dawn Foods. Um, it is the main backup technology. Um, we're a VMware ESXi shop. So, you know, 99% of our VMs are protected with um, Rubrik. Um, we also utilize Microsoft SQL Server for a variety of workloads. Um, those are all protected with Rubrik as well. And along with, you know, file servers and print servers and all the, you know, other good stuff that, you know, you have to, uh, you have to back up as well. Got it. So it's all about centralized management of the yeah. entire Dawn Foods uh, IT landscape with Rubrik. So, and when it comes to the recoverability of the data and accessibility, I mean, the ultimate goal of recovering data is to have it accessible. How do you make it available to your secondary uh, secondary users? The, the, the feature that we use the most is the live mount within the rubric, which makes it super easy to, you know, mount a, a VMDK or a HANA database or a SQL database, whatever, you know, whatever you need to mount, you just mount it up there. It takes, you know, 30 seconds and then you can pull whatever data out. You can, you can look at whatever you need to look at, you know, if you want to recover it, you know, you can do that. Um, it's a it's a very nice feature with within the rubric landscape. So we use that the most frequently when we need to look at something. That's that's how we do it. Great. So and and how do you and your team ensure that you keep all the data secure and available? Well, security is is a big deal uh, given today's threat landscape. So we go with the layered approach um, that I think most organizations use uh, and rubric makes it very easy for us to do this. Um, obviously the backups are immutable. However, we also encrypt all the data due to G GDPR regulations. Um, we utilize a feature called rubric SLA domain lock, which locks the SLA domains and uh, prevents uh, those domains from being changed. And that's important because if a threat actor or somebody gets in and they you know, say they change your uh, SLA domains to zero days, uh, you know, all your data can be erased. So those are locked. Um, the other thing we we do is we turned on MFA mm -hmm. on the rubric. So when uh, somebody logs in, they have to have, you know, a code from Google Authenticator or another Authenticator platform. So that, that helps protect the... Um, our data on the bricks. And those are all, you know, technologies that are integrated into rubric. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's a few clicks inside the console and, and, and most things are turned on. Right. Understood. So you're living and breathing zero trust basically by using multi-factor authentication, end-to-end uh, -end encryption, the retention lock, which is really key. So you're basically following the rubric best practices uh, yeah. that uh, for the implementation of the rubric environment. That's that's really good. Um, but how how do you ensure that, for example, newly created databases are being protected with rubric and you're not missing something? Well, Rubrik has a, a feature called automated discovery and uh, protection. And what that does is it um, it will automatically detect SAP HANA or Microsoft SQL databases, um, and it will protect them uh, using policies that have already been set up in the BRICS. So, you know, it, it, it's it, every once in a while, you know, um, a, a database uh, gets missed uh, for whatever reason, and this, this helps to prevent that. Mm -hmm. I did want to say one other thing about uh, Zero Trust. We purchased a, a, uh, a technology called Rubric Ransomware Monitoring and Investigation. And what it does is it uses machine learning to detect unusual behavior, say for example purposes, you know, the encryption of, of files. Mm -hmm. um, and that behavior is then reported to us this is very important for a very key reason is if you ever get um, hit with ransomware one of the one of the things you'd need to determine is what recovery point you'd have to move to to recover your data mm -hmm. and if you have that information logged um, that question can be very easy to answer 
Um, so I just wanted to mention that. I know it doesn't specifically have to do with SAP HANA, but um, you know, it won't just be HANA that you'll be recovering um, in a ransomware. It'll be application servers and, uh, and other uh, things. So I wanted to mention that. Yeah, no, that's that's very. It's a very good point because um, those anomaly detections or the results of the analysis you will usually receive fifteen minutes once the backup is completed, and it can actually give you an indication for you know something's happening on specific servers, maybe even before the users will detect that. Uh, right. So if it's a file server or something, so no, that's 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 uh, really cool. Um, so um. The, the next question is is around performance. Uh, you just briefly talked about the database sizes that you have in your environment, 500 gigabytes up to two terabytes. Uh, how important is the backup and recovery performance to you and how do you achieve that? Well, performance obviously is, is key. Um, you know, in order to get that, uh, we run multi-channel backups. The other thing I guess I, I want to say, or I kind of want to weave into this answer, is um, we test our backups once a month. So we we will recover a VM, we will recover a database, we will recover you know uh, um, the the C drive of a SQL Server to ensure that we can do that. We have never had a failure with Rubrik. Uh, we have a one hundred percent success rate if Rubrik says that something is backed up, we've never had an issue recovering that data. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to kind of weave that into the answer. But yeah, the multi-channel is is key for us. And um, we we utilize that to get the maximum, to get the, the quickest recovery time possible. Right. Understood. So yeah, it's Again, zero trust. You assume the breach and you're testing the recoveries on a regular basis. This is also one of the best practices and also what the zero trust model or architecture requires. Uh, so that's, that's good. A uh, hundred percent success rate on the recovery. Um, I guess it's hard to believe, but if it's, if it's true, it's true. Yeah. So that's it's true. That's, um, uh, that's that's a nice number, really, hundred yeah. percent success rate. But it's, if yeah. if something happens to your Hana environment and maybe to Rubrik, what kind of impact would that have to Dawn Foods? Well, there there would be a significant financial impact to Dawn Foods. Um, mm -hmm. You know, ECC is the you know if SAP is the heart of you know Dawn Foods' ERP platform, which it is, ECC is the heart of Hana, and without that. SAP doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, for Dawn Foods, if SAP is down, manufacturing is down, um, supply chain is affected, we can't order, we can't purchase anything, we can't ship anything, um, we cannot pick goods in a warehouse. Um, it, is, it is a very significant issue if that goes down. Mm -hmm. So rubric becomes uh, or rubric is a is a key in that a major key in, in ensuring that you know we can get that data back in the event um, that it's lost or you know for whatever reason uh, mm -hmm. we can't get to it on our production systems. So yeah, it's it's uh, quite scary to hear about the impact um, because of just SAP downtime, but if the entire um, business is relying on the SAP infrastructure, then I can understand that. So, um, yeah, scary, but um, I really yeah. like to thank you for all this uh, real life context. Do you have any final thoughts for our audience? We are, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, um, we are in the middle of uh, a rubric refresh. So we're on our second cycle of rubric hardware. We're moving, um, literally as we speak, we're moving hardware into data centers and, and getting data migrated off of the old bricks and onto the new bricks. Um, we stayed with Rubrik for one main reason, and that's the partnership that we have with Rubrik. Um, our account reps are, um, you know, continue the relationship with Dawn Foods. Um, it's not just a situation where they sell you a bunch of hardware and then you never hear from them again. Um, if we need anything, we know you know how to get in touch with them 24 seven. 
uh, we need a ticket escalated, we need anything at all, uh, they're right there. So for for us at Dawn Foods, it's not just how the technology works, which that's important, but it's also the partnership you have with the vendor that is selling you the technology. And that's, that's in my opinion, just as important. Mm -hmm. So um, we will, uh, we're going to stay with Rubric because we, uh, we value the partnership that uh, we have with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's very good to hear. I mean, partnership is, is, um, I would say equally important than the technology, right? And a rubric lives out of customer ideas. So if you have anything that you'd like to have improved or implemented, let them know and we can feed that into our product management organization. And, we also have 300 dedicated um, ransomware response team support engineers that could help you in case you get attacked. They're really dedicated just to you, like a team out of these 300 people um, that do nothing else than helping our customers out of a ransomware attack or recovery let's, from it. Let's hope I never have to call on them. <laughs> yeah, um, today uh, there's no guarantee for that anymore, unfortunately, right. but um, yeah. No, thank you really, uh, or very much really for, for the time uh, and for the information that you shared with us. Um, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. And with that, I hand it back over to Sean. It's always great to hear from a satisfied customer. I uh, really want to thank Frank and Reed for taking the time to discuss our SAP HANA features for Rubrik. But you know, I got to tell you, as a DBA, it really blows my mind that Dawn Foods is able to achieve a 100% success rate with recovery testing. You know, that truly is a testament to the value that Rubrik can provide. If there's one overarching concept that we really want you to take from this breakout, it's the fact that you're always going to need a way to keep all your databases safe and have the ability to recover just what you need when you need it. And Rubric is here to help you attain that goal. Okay, well, thanks uh, to Sean, Frank, and Reed for putting together a really informative presentation and for all your insights in, in that conversation there between Frank and Reed. That was fantastic. Um, we really appreciate all of your time today. Uh, and for those of you like Elizabeth and Brandon and others who ask questions, we'll pass those along to the Rubric team for follow up. And before we wrap up today, we have one more piece of business. It's the Amazon gift card prize drawing. And the winner of that $250 card today is Kyle Knapp from Texas. So congratulations to Kyle. We'll be in touch to get you your card. And with that, on behalf of the actual tech media team, I want to thank Rubric for making this event possible. And thanks as always for attending and for your great questions. That concludes today's event. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Mm -hmm.